and we have some stress fractures going through the drywall and the likely place of weakest joint of the drywall is going to be the drywall joint. We have another small fracture out here. This is telling me that there's stress on the roof and the stress is being caused by water saturation around the perimeter. I did feel a slight heave right here in the floor in this coming right off of this corner. And over here in this corner, I have a separation at the weakest joint, which is going to be doorways, windows, and thresholds. So this crack is continuing over here, which is suggesting that we have a little bit of movement. Over here on this side of the home, <clears throat> there's just a slight indication of shearing right there in the corner. You can see that little tiny, tiny crack. This is probably the earliest that I can show you. Start coming up the wall. This is indicating that there's a little bit of movement over here. So I'm looking up a little high. And then right here by this back door, right up here at this corner, there's a little itty bitty tiny crack up there. So all of this is indicating that there is a little bit of settlement going on. And the post tension cables are tightened to 27 to 30,000 PSI. Now we're outside. All of this rainwater coming off of this area and this area and the other one is all just pounding this area here. And we have a sidewalk, basically a dam, holding all of this moisture in. And when this moisture gets held in, it's going to go in between this entry and that foundation slab there and it's going to evaporate up, leaving efflorescent salt deposit left behind from evaporated moisture chewing into the concrete. That is the same thing that's happening all the way around this house. The paint's painted down to the top of the dirt. The dirt gets wet below the paint line. The moisture goes in and evaporates up, leaving the salt deposit. The moisture is the transportation of this salt deposit, and this cycle continues, continues, until it chews into the concrete enough to delaminate the paint. This is happening all over this foundation. However, I will be going over here on this side, and this is a post-tension foundation. And what I'm looking for are these two rust dots. This is patch material. Right back behind there is the cable with two half-moon wedges holding that 27,000 PSI on. The rust, however, on these two pins, it takes moisture, oxygen, and steel get together, causes oxidation. Oxidation has a low voltage current, so there's moisture and oxygen going through here. Back behind here is a hairpin. The hairpin is number four rebar, which is half inch, and it will grow two, uh, two and a half inches in diameter and will eventually break this whole side. And this is going on all the way around this house at these uh, post-tension cables. So the repair would be, and is in dire need of, patch, repair, waterproofing, and painting, dirt grading at an elevation that brings this moisture away from the foundation, and rain gutters all the way around the house where the rainwater comes down and disperse that rainwater over top of that sidewalk so it has its best opportunity to go down into the valley gutter where it's supposed to be. So dirt grading, patch, repair, paint, and waterproofing and exterior house paint is going to stop the oxygen and moisture from getting to this rebar that will exacerbate on the inside breaking out this entire wall. That's where this is going to and is starting. So this would help slow down and even stop this from continuing to exacerbate itself. Also, because post tension, and it says it right here, and usually all garages will have that stamped in it. Post tension foundations are only 12 to 14 inches tall, where it sits on top of the dirt. Well, the dirt gets wet below uh, the vertical wall of this foundation, and then it's kind of like a 10 pound bowling ball on top of mud. It's going to sink causing vertical breaks. These vertical breaks look just like that. They are a vertical break, which means that this monolithic foundation post tension, it broke there, so that means that this side is going down slightly. And there are a few several ones across here, which this side, 
that side over there, and then the opposite corner are all three moving down, causing the stress in the roof, causing the crack in the ceiling drywall where we were just inside viewing. For more information about Post Tension Foundation Settlement, Oxidized Rebar, and Cable Repair, contact James at 602-418-2970, or you can always go to ConcreteRepairman.com for more information. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.